Welcome to the very strange and unusual 2020 awards for Aspley High School. This has been an amazing year and I think when you look through this presentation, you'll see how wonderfully well our amazing students have responded to a very, very strange year. It's a credit to you, families, and to the students that even during a pandemic, people can find time to get a bronze service award. And what that means is they've given some time of themselves to help someone else out in our school community, even in these very difficult times. The other thing you'll notice is that some people have worked super, super hard, even through the toughness of learning at home and achieved great results academically. And you'll see that reflected in the various awards that they're getting. So one of the things I'd like to say to all of our community, thank you so much for being so fantastic. You normally are, but I think we really show each other who we are during tough times. And tonight's presentation, or if you're not looking at it at night, you're looking at it during the day, and you might be looking at it in the morning or the afternoon, but regardless of when you're watching this, just keep in mind how fantastic our young people are and how grateful we are as a school for the help you've given for them to be able to be as good as they've been in 2020.
The Spirit of Junior Secondary Award for Year 7 for 2020 is Isabella Whitman. Isabella is a student who performs to the best of her ability. She shows an enthusiasm and positive attitude to school life in all that she does. Isabella is a caring young lady who has won the respect of the junior secondary staff at school for her contributions. She has worked hard and maintained her grade at a very high standard. Isabella takes great pride in all that she does and commits to all tasks at every opportunity. Congratulations, Isabella. The Spirit of Junior Secondary Award for Year 8 winner for 2020 is Kyle Hassam. Kyle continues to be a highly active around the school, involving himself in a range of school activities. One of Kyle's standout qualities is his willingness, without being asked, to get involved. He is a strong leader, but understands the importance of working in a team. Teachers agree that Kyle's successes are underpinned by hard work and a growth mindset. Well done, Kyle. The Spirit of Junior Secondary Award Year 9 winner for 2020 is Ewan McFasden. The Spirit of Junior Secondary Award is presented to a student who embodies what is to be a fine student of Aspley High School. Ewan exemplifies what it is to have a growth mindset, embracing challenges and striving to overcome them. His contribution to the Junior Secondary Leadership and the Aspley Eagles program is well known and his willingness and capacity to engage with students and staff alike mark him as a role model in our school. Ewan simply embodies the spirit of Astley High School. Congratulations, Ewan. The Petrie Shield is donated by the Federal Member for Petrie, Mr. Luke Howarth. This award is for outstanding civility. The 2020 winner is Om Bacardia. Om is a great example of civility in action. He's a very genuine and authentic young man who is admired for his ethics and his care and concern for others. Teaching and promoting the concept of civility through his role modeling is exemplary. Om is an example of success in this area. Simply, if there were more people in the world who had the civility this young man demonstrates, it would be a far better place. Well done, Om.
The Long Tan Youth Leadership and Teamwork Awards recognise individuals who have demonstrated leadership qualities and values which align to those of the Australian Defence Force. These are very prestigious awards. And this year's Long Tan Leadership Award goes to Manit Gopal. Manit is an outstanding candidate for this award. He has excellent leadership, he is highly disciplined, shows lots of courage and is very, very focused. He's a great leader within our Astley High School community and also in the wider community. Congratulations. The Australian Defence Force Future Innovators Award has been designed to recognise the recipient's science and mathematics ability and highlights the values of the Navy, Army and Air Force and how they place such importance on STEM skills. There are also many STEM career opportunities within the Defence Forces. This year's recipient of the ADF Future Innovators Award for Year 10 is Rico Lasica. Congratulations, Rico. The Petrie Shield Award is donated by the Federal Member for Petrie, and it's an award given for outstanding students who demonstrate civility. The Year 10 winner of the Petrie Shield is Kate Maslin. Kate is an excellent role model for other students in our school community. She's reliable, hardworking and dependable. Congratulations, Kate. The Petrie Shield is a presentation made by our local member, Luke Howarth, to recognise leadership across a range of areas, school and community volunteering and their achievement in academic performance and pursuits. The Petri Shield is based on a range of criteria and this year's recipient has been outstanding across a range of disciplines. I'd like to congratulate Tabitha Franklin who is this year's Petri Shield winner. Tabitha is outstanding in many areas. She always steps up for leadership opportunities in our school. She's been a consistent person helping with the Student Council, Tura Magazine, and she's been a big sister. Tabitha's performance and contribution to the performing arts is second to none. She mentors and supports others, and her role in the school musical, if anybody saw it, is absolutely outstanding. Tabitha is also involved in the arts outside of school. She's a significant and a significant performer and leader in the Australian Youth Choir. Congratulations, Tabitha. You are a worthy recipient for the Petrie Shield. The Quota Achiever of the Year Award is sponsored by our local Quota Club and goes to people who demonstrate persistence and a positive attitude despite a number of adversities that you might face. So this year's candidate is an outstanding young man and he has certainly deserved this through many, many years of, of great work and commitment and working despite all the obstacles that he sometimes faces. Congratulations to the 2020 Achiever of the Year for Quota, Ethan Wade. The Big Brother and Sister program at Aspley High School is highly valued by our community. Mentoring younger people and helping year sevens to feel comfortable in high school sets them up for a really good success here at Aspley High. The program is extensive. Many students spend many hours not only in the preparation and training for it, but in actually executing the program during the year. And this year, through a pandemic, that was even more challenging. And our big brothers and sisters sought other ways to connect with Year 7s. So this award is presented to an exemplary student who has shown outstanding skills in the Big Brother and Sister program. They've built a fantastic relationship with the younger students. 
and were great role models across all of the school values. Every day, this particular person has done an outstanding job in connecting with younger people and making them feel welcome. It is with great pleasure that we congratulate Brooklyn Dave as the Big Brother of the Year. The Roger Baum Award is one of our favourite awards here at Aspley High School. It recognises the quiet achievers who support so many of the events across the school. The person who receives this award works above and beyond in the area of creativity, volunteering and service. It's their work that allows us to be able to put on events like awards nights, A-factors, open mics. The other part of the Roger Baum Award is to recognise the link to community as Roger, who it's named for, was very much a connector. And it's with great pleasure that we announce this year's winner of being a very good connector himself. Congratulations, Brooklyn Dave. So this year has been unique in ways other than Corona, of course. Our first year sevens, the class of 2020, were also the first students to graduate under the new ATAR system. And as a bit of an explanation of the reasoning behind why we've done what we've done with awards this year particularly, and will continue to do, it's important to remember that for some of the year 12s, they're still waiting and will be waiting for their results from external assessment. So soon you will see their graduation presentations of the special awards that they received at the end of their year 12 year. Next year, we will know who was the top academic achiever in different subjects, but also overall in terms of their ATAR. So you won't see the presentation of the ducks of 2020 External assessment means that 50% of some subjects' marks won't be allocated until the external assessment is marked. So Aspley High School, in consultation with our community and most importantly the students, made the decision that we wouldn't be trying to make up results for a ducks, but rather we would recognise those people next year once the results are in. So the presentations you see for students now on this slide presentation is really about those special awards that they would be um, up for, that they applied for, or that they were given because of their contribution to school. So enjoy watching the class of 2020. And again, what a great achievement it is for them to have finished. And also I'd like to give them a particular shout out for the way they went about learning at home and for being so tough through things like external assessments with um, bomb threats and evacuations, through being the first to sit through an external assessment and for being awesome through their mock exams. So to the class of 2020, congratulations, and we look forward to being able to announce their academic achievements in 2021.
It's with great pleasure that we announce the Year 12 Special Awards for 2020. These awards are ones where students had to apply and also some of them where a panel selected students based on the criteria for the Special Awards. The ADF Future Innovators Award is a highly prestigious award presented across que Queensland and Australia. This award is presented to students who have demonstrated outstanding academic achievement in science and mathematics. The recipient of this award for 2020 is Nicklin Crease. Nicklin has maintained a very high level of achievement across all of his STEM subjects at Aspley State High School. Well done, Nicklin. The Growth Mindset Award is a special Aspley High School Award. As you know, Growth Mindset is a very big part of the fabric and culture of our school. This award is presented to students who consistently demonstrate and model a growth mindset. And the winner of the Growth Mindset Award is Jessica Urbacker. Jessica has regularly worked with ACU Tutors at Homework Club when completing specialist maths, created maths vodcasts for younger students, and participated in distance education in senior. Congratulations and well done, Jessica. The Sportswoman of the Year Award is a prestigious award given to the person who most shows sportsmanship, successful participation in a range of sporting events, and a willingness to work and mentor with others. The winner of the 2020 Sportswoman of the Year Award is Paige Tremble. Paige Tremble has been a Kenny House captain. She led her house to victory in the swimming carnival. She was age champion with 120 points, only one point off being the, the carnival champion. Out of the pool, Paige was selected this year to represent Met North at the state Ho hockey championships and, there, and she was their first choice goalkeeper. Paige also demonstrates success at a club level for Pine Hills and St Andrews Ladies Hockey Clubs respectively. Congratulations Paige. The Sandy Landers Service Award is presented to students who exemplify outstanding service, citizenship and volunteering in the school. And the winner of the Sandy Landers Special Award for 2020 is Georgia Kennaway. Georgia is a worthy recipient of this award, given her various leadership roles in the school, her membership of the, U the Lord Mayor's Youth Advisory Council, and the PCYC Youth Leadership Team. And that's just to name a few. Congratulations, Georgia. The Heart Sport Athlete with Potential Award is given to someone who demonstrates outstanding sportsmanship, who participates in a broad number of sporting events, and activities across the school and someone who we know will continue to work in the sporting field either in a volunteering capacity or in further study into the future. And the winner of the Heart Sport Athlete with Potential Award is Georgia Kennaway. Georgia is a recipient of the Heart Sport Athlete with Potential Award because she's an outstanding athlete in a range of areas. She's a Queensland representative at gymnastics Georgia was not only in her early years adapted to the world game of football, she has excelled and grown in that area. When selecting football teams, her name was always the first on the team sheet. Georgia has successfully progressed to playing at an NPL level by joining Moreton Bay Football Club and has re represented Met North. Georgia Canaway, congratulations. She's a great athlete with potential. The Long Tan Leadership Award is a highly prestigious award given to students across Australia. The students who are awarded this have demonstrated leadership qualities that align with the Australian Defence Force. And the winner of this year's 2020 Year 12 Long Tan Award is Cody Hassam. Cody has been nominated for the award because he's so awesome in setting goals and he's worked really hard as school captain with others and helped them to strive to be the very, very best they can be. Cody's done that in a very challenging year and we're very proud of him. Congratulations, Cody.
The Sportsman of the Year Award is presented to this person who has shown great sportsmanship, achievement across a range of sporting areas, and has coached and mentored and supported others in achieving the best they can for sport. And the winner of the 2020 Sportsman of the Year Award is Cody Hassam. Cody has led the Aspley Eagle Senior Boys by example this year. He's been an essential athlete in the Eagles program since the very first time he came to school in year seven. This year, Cody's ability was recognised when he was selected in the Queensland Schools Premier League select team to play against the Brisbane Roar Academy. Congratulations, Cody. The Caltext All Round Award is a very prestigious award. It has been given in Queensland and Australia for over 30 years. It's an award that is presented to students who are considered to be outstanding in a range of areas, hence the all-rounder title. The winner of the Caltex All-Rounder for 2020 is Cody Hassam. Cody has been presented this award because he is outstanding in his academic leadership, his service and his extracurricular participation in school. He has also been involved in lots of events outside the classroom, the Academic Achievers Program, the Aspley Eagles Program, the Big Brothers Program, and he was school captain for 2020. Congratulations, Cody. Thank you very much for joining us on our quite strange 2020 awards night. Big thank you to all the students who have contributed so much during this year, who've made a big difference during a time of great trial. I'd also like to say a very big, big compliment to the parents of the students who have been awarded here. None of this happens in isolation and working together with your school and with the school cooperating with family, it makes a big difference. I'd like to look forward to next year with clear COVID free eyes, but I guess only time will tell. But what I do know about 2021 is that these young people who have been awarded here in this presentation, they're going to continue to thrive. And our year 12s from 2020 will be entering university or the workplace with great skills and a great growth mindset. And I also know that those students who have contributed so effectively this year will continue to do so. And we've got lots to look forward to. We've got a great new sports hall. We've got a terrific new performing arts building to open. And of course, we've got the relationships between students, teachers and their community to look forward to in 2021. Thank you, take care, have a very, very safe holiday and look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you.